Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. If you've always wondered what the C stands for, my name is Cecilia. Uh, if you're new on this channel, I do fragrance reviews, I do fashion videos, lifestyle videos, and much, much more. If you're a returning uh, subscriber, thank you very much for coming along, as always. Uh, they say life begins at 40. Uh, so today I'm here with a fragrance haul in celebration of my 40th birthday, which was on the 24th of October. Uh, before I get into that, please do remember to subscribe if you're new on this channel do consider subscribing if what I said uh, we do on this channel sounds like something you're interested in you know fashion and uh, fragrance reviews if that's your kind of thing please do consider subscribe subscribing also like comment and share uh, this video uh, now I'm gonna get um, go straight into the video and this is actually a second take and I'll tell you why um, you know when I was doing the first ta take I did put this uh, Zara uh, discovery set you know um, on the screen like this without holding it and one fell and actually broke at the same time so the first fragrance uh, uh, the first um, gift I bought uh, for myself is this discovery set uh, by Jo Malone right it's got eight of them by four ml ml so if I try them out I'll let you know what I think um, so that will be the first one now before I break it again I'm moving on fast because I you know what happened was just something i was not expecting and the whole room is just uh, smelling of this fragrance the one i i broke is actually called ebony wood you know but good thing is i had tried them and i had actually written down my first impressions so um at least i've got you know a hang of what it's about the next one is yes i am by Cacharel. this came as a gift set uh, my daughter pinched the lotion so this is yes i am by Cacharel. Uh, that will be the second one in this haul the third one is signorina mysteriosa i have been eyeing this fragrance uh you know and uh, i was hoping to purchase it someday and uh, having turned 40 i thought okay what better time to do it than now so signorina mysteriosa uh, is uh, the third one here i'm not actually counting so if i end up saying a wrong number that's because they are not listed down i'm just saying them as i pick them up now the next one is uh chanel uh sensual alo alo sensual by chanel this is another one that i've been eyeing for a while uh, because I am actually trying to uh, build my Chanel collection uh, so yeah so I, I decided to you know buy this one Allure Chanel by uh, um, sorry Chanel Allure Sensual right Allure Sensual Chanel is quite right Chanel Allure Sensual okay i know i'm sounding like a broken record right now but i was just trying to make sure that i say it properly i did try this one though it um comes across to me as though it's a uh, unisex uh it's a bit heavy you know so it's, it's it's on the heavy side so it gave me that uh male vibe you know uh the next one is this one rich warm and uh, um rich warm and addictive uh tobacco collection by zara right this one was very affordable only 12 pounds there you go uh so this rich warm and addictive i'm pretty sure it's not new to a lot of you guys you know you've seen it before so that's how it looks like i'm gonna take this off right i tried this one as well and it's also something that i really like so it's probably gonna be one that i review you know soon because i actually love it this one i bought uh, you know just for the fun of it because there was change there this is a little travel size fragrance called blooming passion by penthouse right so it just looks like this and i thought it would be something nice to have in my purse you know as a purse spray um moving along okay i did think of purchasing you know I, I did decide rather to purchase a couple of the pandoras by pa paris corner uh this is a fragrance house that does a lot of clones some good and uh some okay right this one's called jasmine intense right so 
like I said when I started this video that uh, I will not be talking about notes because I'm just trying to 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 make sure that this video uh, you know doesn't be you know get ridiculously long so if I sound like I'm moving fast that's because that's exactly what I want it to be like I'm trying to make this video a 10 12 minute video uh, you know pushing it maybe 14 now going back uh, to Joe Malone as well I bought this discovery set uh, it's not tied prettily because I opened it before so I was trying to tie it nicely for you guys so this discovery set by uh, Joe Malone has uh, samples right it's got these five beautiful samples right so yeah and I've tried some of them so I think I will be purchasing a couple of Joe Malone's because the fragrances that I tried you know I was um, actually uh, very impressed right the next one oh yeah you know I always talk about Latafa here so I couldn't resist but buy this one this one is called Badi Al Oud or Oud for Glory by Latafa right so uh, it's it's quite tight in there but yeah there we go that's the one trying to put them away carefully so that I don't break them again uh, like what happened to that uh, Zara Joe Malone for Zara now the next one is also an Arab Arabic house it's called Albeit Aldimashki right Albeit Al Albeit Aldimashki right um, they do inspired by uh, fragrances right so this is how the fragrances I actually bought two of these so let me just show you these at the same time please do remember to subscribe guys subscribe like and comment and I can see my numbers going up so I am very happy you know uh, it's not like I'm complaining but I'm just crossing my fingers for that golden 1000 you know so please do consider subscribing guys so this is what I was talking about right uh, the house name is on it's called Albeit Aldi Mashki perfumes right and this is how they look like I like their presentation I think it's very cute and, and classy right uh, the next one I, this, the next one is gonna be an oil uh, this oil was uh, from KDJ I, I, I've got um, this perfume in its original this is Mongolian and I like the you know the their oil it's very very close I mean it's it's a hundred percent identical if I have to be honest enough so this is an, an oil I purchased and then another oil this one was from the perfume people this is uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 the reason why I purchased this is because I have a couple of Baccarat Rouge 540s from the same company called um, the perfume people and it's very very good I do not own a uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, it's something that uh, I will look into buying but it's not you know anytime soon so you know um, because of the hype of Baccarat Rouge 540 I, 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 I started out with uh, these oils because they have uh, on their website you can buy uh, five of these or three of these or you can buy a 50 ml and they'll throw in one so I'm actually enjoying the Baccarat Rouge so yeah I had to buy that oil right uh, next is gonna be uh, Dior right okay I decided to buy this one as a travel uh, size roller ball because I I'm not big on hypnotic poison but I decided to put it in my collection because uh, when I say I'm not big on it I tried it when a couple of years ago maybe even 10 years ago so you know now that I'm learning that sometimes giving up on fragrances you know you've got to give them time I thought okay let me go uh, let me buy again another hypnotic poison and see how that goes you know and when I tried it it's I have a bit of a different take on it so yeah you know uh, maybe I am getting you know um, accustomed to it or because now I'm more mature so yeah uh, the way I perceived fragrances 
uh, say 10 years ago is different from the way I perceive fragrances now. So this is why I just thought, okay, I'm going to do hypnotic poison again. So they were kind enough to throw in this J'adore Eau de Parfum Infinissime. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It's a little tester, right? It's not the original Jido. It's this one is Infini Sim, right? So I'm gonna try that someday. And this is the um, hypnotic poison, right? This is the travel size. Uh, it's a it's a roller ball. Okay. I, I was cautious, you know, that's why I bought it in a smaller size because I didn't want to go back to that experience and then, you know, start thinking, well, why did I buy it? Because I don't like it. So yeah, this is not new to most of you guys now. The next one is gonna be um, another Latafa, right? Very pretty. This one's called Raid by Latafa, right? So pretty much see there and then the next ones i bought i decided to buy three of the luby turns just to try them right so um let me just take them out so that you can see there's so many things now i'm gonna put two aside so the first one i will be inserting videos as well you know of these uh, fragrances so that you get the hang of right so this one's called Trouble in Heaven, right? And the next one is called Bikini Quistacera, right? That's Lubitin. And the third one is called Tonad, Tonade. Tonade, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Tonade Blonde, right? So these are the three Louboutins that I got for my 40th, right? Which gives me something to, you know, look forward to trying. Now, another Pandora that I got, Pandora uh, on some boxes. Yeah, Pandora is actually Paris Connor right so i'm sure you can pretty much see what they were trying to work at here this is an alien uh replica it's called adin and this is how it looks by the house pandora paris connor and uh another pandora is sorry this one. This one's called La Nui Pandora. Right, La Nui Pandora. And this is how it looks like. My other Pandora. So I will do a Pandora, uh, a Paris Connor uh, fragrance review since I did get a couple of them. So. Uh, look out for that one in case you were wondering how these scents smell like I just bought them specifically for the sake of doing a review you know that was the uh, motivation and last but not least I hope I didn't forget anything is gonna be this I think I did try to stick to my my time I said I will do uh, 12 to 14 so this looks like you know after editing it's gonna be maybe 15 minutes um, sorry I don't know why I have this receipt this is got Guerlain, uh, Mon Guerlain Intense. Mon Guerlain Intense, my favorite. There you go, right? And the reason why I'm showing you is because they, you know, they, they were kind enough to throw in again these testers, which is Aqua Allegora Granada, Granada Solvia, right? And then Aqua Allegora Orange Soleil, right? And then Aqua Allegora again, Mandarin ba ba Basilic, right? I have tried these testers. The, uh, they're all good. The only thing I have a problem with is longevity. I don't seem uh, to uh, smell this after three hours. They, they seem to be, you know, very uh, fresh scents and... 
uh, a bit on the soft side so that's the only cons i have with that so i will still try them which is why i, I have these testers i'll see tr still try them and then come up with maybe a conclusion of which one to buy so thank you very much for joining me guys it's been your girl c chronicles like i said please do remember to subscribe comment and share i have been doing my uh, 40th birthday fragrance haul i've been showing you guys the new fragrances in my collection I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do stick around for more reviews coming uh, soon because as always, that's what we're here for. Thank you very much again. Do follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles there. And remember to like, comment and share and always smell great. Cheers.